What do you see when you look into the face of a nightclub doorman? Hello, darling. You behave yourself tonight. The bouncer. A fighter. A bully. A hard man of repute. I bet you don't see a husband, father, a brother, a son. People think that working the door is easy. They sit there with plank in their eye, looking at you like you're a piece of shit, a baby or a fucking serial killer. They don't think that when you're pulling some fucking lump off them, some cunt who's going to end them. Do you know what? And this is the irony. The ones that like you the least, normally those with a year of university philosophy under their pacifist belts and absolutely no fucking idea about the reality of life outside a college campus, they're the ones that need you most when shit and fan meet. Blinded. Right Here, this lemon come in one night. I don't think he was working, Pete. You know, big geezer educated, plenty of that. Mm. Anyway, his head was riveted right up his arsehole. Mm. Well, I was very polite. I said to him, it's not my personal son, but you're wearing trainers. We don't allow trainers, you know, the coat. Yeah. The cunt only starts poking me in the fucking chest, touching the cloth, then he starts hurling quotes from fucking books. Nietzsche, he said. Fucking Nietzsche. Beware while I was hunting the dragon. Beware of becoming the dragon. I said, oh, that only fucking knocking your back because you've got a pair of trainers on. This ain't old switch. <laughs> then, I, then I said to him, I said, when did this Nietzsche geezer last work at the door on a Friday night? He didn't say nothing. Well, they don't do that when I'm gone. Just come on. Just ping. Oh, ping. <laughs> 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 ping. I mean, for fuck's sake, have a philosophy, that's what does it for you. You know what I'm saying. And where you can, walk softly. But don't forget to carry a big fuck-off stick. That's why I'm in here, in the gym, with the iron and the testosterone and the gurning faces growing a fuck-off stick. Some bodily armour. You never know when it might be all that stands between a blade and a soft place. You understand? Don't yeah. fucking come back! Stay out of the fucking club. Look at the fucking threats, man! Here's a town. Go and buy yourself a new fucking suit. This is personal, man. It's me and you. And everyone tells us what a great job we've got. Until some head banger pulls a life ender from his pocket and points it in your direction. Come on, you cunt! Come on, get the fuck off me! Come on, you cunt! Come on! Let him go, man. Come on. Come on! Step into the arena. Sound brave? Fearless? Take a closer look. The foot tapping is to hide the tremor of fear that has made its way to my knees. We're all full of fear, to the brim. Some of us just died it better than others. Come on. Come on, leave it. I fucking see you. Yeah, yeah, I fucking yeah. see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah any time you fucking free. What? Cut! <laughs> Just because they walk away don't mean they ain't coming back. It definitely don't mean it's over. Right, come on, let's liven it up. See up. You think I'm jesting? You think that this is not a serious employ? Three of my mates already got their young names in the obituary column because they underestimated the threat. Steve, young guy, belly out of pampers. Didn't comprehend the crack. He took a Saturday night baseball bat across to Sweden and died on the Tuesday. Jimmy. Funny man. He'd have you burst in your corsets all night. Broken glass in the neck. Five pints of red in the beer sticky carpet before we could even get to him. And then there was John. Didn't log the fret. Well, most of the fuckers never come back. But some of them do. And it only takes one. He should have stayed switched on. John. Oh, get off the fucking spell. Let me finish my story. Oh, Let me finish my story. Let you. me finish my story. He's like a fucking limpet. Him. Oh, no. Who, me? Yeah, you. you are. Anyway, Pete, as I was saying, right? Well, Dave well, chucked this ugly Doris out. Well, fucking right? ugly. <laughs> Fuck me, big girl. Cool. Each streak of her eyes a different postcode. <laughs> <laughs> she told us she bred Rottweilers, and I said, well, you got the fucking hips really. <laughs> <laughs> right. So anyway, no sooner as she had a club, right, doors locked, we're back inside, when...
bang, 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 get out of here now. Ooh. She goes, right? Fuck me, the hairs on my head stood up like a scrubby guy. <laughs> right. Get out of here now. And then she starts kicking, punching the doors. So, you know, I've, I've, uh, I've bravely swung the door open, and there she was. And she's about, she's about five foot back and snarling, right? <laughs> so, uh, so I've wiggled my hips like that. Right? <laughs> I've, gone, I've gone, oi, beastie. <laughs> Suppose the shag's out of question, right? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me, she went berserk. She flew at me like a flying at shit. I've turned around to get back in the club, right? And this cunt, he's only gonna lock me outside with oh, this beast flailing, like. trying to fucking kill me. I couldn't believe it. I mean, I shit myself, and all I can hear behind the locked doors is his fucker cracking his ribs, laughing. <laughs> so what the fuck happened then? Well, you know, I just give it to her straight up. I said, listen, love, if you don't start behaving when we're out, I'm gonna to have to seriously consider divorce. <laughs> <laughs> He's a proper <laughs> anyway, anyway, look, I can't stand around here laughing and telling yarns all night. I've got a motor here. Look after you. Uh, Dougie lost the kill. Remember what I said? Watch your back. Watch your back. All right, okay. Go on, fuck off. Fucking, you know, that was like my fucking mum, him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Listen, don't worry about me, man. I got it covered. Oh, yeah. Plus, I got other things on my mind, like a woman at home in bed waiting to warm me up when I get home, you know what I mean? Oh, would you pump her up before you come out tonight? <laughs> 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 well, you know, my life is fantastic. If you want big and tits, you just blow harder. Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> the old samurai have a saying. After the battle, tighten your helmet straps. <laughs> you take care. Right. So the end of the shift is the most vulnerable time for a doorman. You're tired. You're looking forward to a quiet drive home down empty roads. Frankie baby over the airways. A thought away from a warm bed. In your mind's eye, you're already there. You're slipping under the blankets, head on the pillar. Your lady emanating heat. You mould yourself into her back. She stirs. She's sleepy. Turns into you and kisses your face and... You're in heaven. Throttling one man by his squeezy bottleneck, killing him. No matter how much you think he might deserve it, does not bring back the life of another. It might solve a short-term problem, might even bring a little instant gratification, but it won't. And it don't bring any lasting solace. What it does bring is a consequence that unfolds and completes itself. It's like karma, like time and the tides. No man can stop it. Stick to the weights, eh, lads? <coughs> I think we've got part of that come for another eight years.